Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Dan the Tutor. Today we're going to be talking about the difference between mass and weight. So without further ado, let's get started. Mass and weight are very, very similar to each other, but there's a few key differences between them, and I'm going to be highlighting them right now. So first, the biggest difference is that weight is technically a force, and so therefore it is measured in newtons, it would go on a free body diagram. And a lot of times, specifically, weight is equal to the force of gravity on an object. As a matter of fact, that is the definition of weight, is the force of gravity on an object. Mass, on the other hand, is not a force. Mass is, well, mass. It's measured in kilograms most of the time in physics. Sometimes they give you grams, but even when they give you grams, you have to convert to kilograms anyway, because it's an SI unit, which means we use kilograms. So that's the first difference between mass and weight. The other big difference is that mass is the same wherever you are, and weight depends on the planet you're on, because different planets have different forces of gravity. The most common example for this is when you're standing on Earth versus when you're standing on the moon. Now, don't worry, I know the moon is not a planet, but it doesn't matter. It still has a force of gravity, because it's so massive. So what I'm saying is, if your mass is m on Earth, then your mass is also going to be m on the moon. It doesn't change. But if your weight is w, let's say, on Earth, which, remember, w is equal to mass times gravity, by definition, then when we go to the moon, where the acceleration of gravity is one-sixth that of Earth, meaning it's not g anymore, it's one over six times g, then that means your weight is going to be one-sixth w. You weigh one-sixth as much on the moon, but your mass is the same. And the only thing else I need to mention about mass versus weight is the different ways you measure mass and weight. If you want to measure weight, we traditionally do this on a scale, such as a bathroom scale or a digital scale or whatever. When you stand on a scale, it's telling you your weight. The reading is the weight. So that means if you want to weigh less, my recommendation to you would be to move to the moon where your weight will be one-sixth that of Earth and you can finally get off your diet. Ha ha ha. But what about mass? How can you figure out how much mass you have? Well, it turns out the way you measure mass is you have to use that scale that you see in courtrooms sometime. It's the... It's the one that has the two balances on it. I'm trying to draw it. I'll do the best I can. I'll probably just put a picture on the screen because that'll be way easier. But it looks something like this. And basically how it works is you stick a mass on one end and then you stick a mass on the other end. And because the force of gravity, mg, is being applied to both sides, it doesn't matter if that's g or one-sixth g. The gravity part cancels out. And that's the instrument you use to measure mass, which again is the same whether you're on the Earth or the Moon or out in space. And so that's all I wanted to talk about in today's video. Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments section below. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, and bye-bye.